So last week I have not been working on this thing and I thought about it today. I was like, cool, I probably should get on that pretty soon because we're moving on. Um, today's Monday, we're moving on Thursday. Welcome to Homemade Everything, everybody. We are headed out to the shop tonight to work on a restoration project. I don't know if we've had any restoration projects ever before, but uh, my neighbor Jesse, the one that I made that uh, holster for, and then also the uh, the barbecue bar stool, the tractor seat bar stool. I never know what to call that thing. Anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about. He came over um, today and delivered this. He needs this thing to be completely restored. It does have sentimental value. And uh, if it did not, this is probably so far gone that it would be put out on the curb. But because there is some sentiment there, he said, go ahead and do your best to try to restore this thing. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just, I'm going to do my best to try to restore this thing. Let's get to work. So as you can see, there's a lot of things not connected. There's a major split in the wood. It's, it's in bad shape. I can't wait to send him a picture of this chair when it's just completely demolished. There's also some screws in here, so I guess it would probably be best to remove as many pieces of metal hardware as I can first. Alright, so here we have Jesse's old stool, or rocking chair, whatever the heck I'm working on. And uh, it's got an old coat of clear on it, and some stain, and it's been out in the rain obviously, or at least a lot of sun, but probably both. And uh, we need to get that old clear off of it so that we can hopefully stain it. This is really the first time I've ever uh, refinished a piece of furniture. If I can't get all the clear off, then the next layer of stain's not going to work, so... <sighs> Wish me luck. Go check out uh, brandedbills.com. They're really awesome. Here you go. So this is a flat piece. This is completely sanded. There was big dents and dings and markings and stains and sweat and wear and all kinds of stuff. And now it looks like a brand new piece of wood. Um, the sander did a really easy, quick, good job. However, these. How the heck can I sand that off easily? I mean, I'm assuming get a piece of sandpaper and do this over and over but even if I do that it's gonna take a long time it's gonna be a lot of work and I'm probably not gonna get down in these little crevices these grooves that I'm assuming were turned on a lathe Too good to be true. Now I need to glue these things together and I have no idea how I'm going to hold it together, but we'll figure it out. So camera died, I had to go in and charge it and empty the SD card and everything, but I've got everything sanded. This thing's over here. I glued these two outer um, slats in place. And then I also glued the seat back together in three different locations. I have the strap um, compressing all of them together. I don't know how that worked, but it is doing a very good job. So that's going to cure 
Um, that's gonna require probably about four hours to completely cure. But in the meantime, my neighbor asked me to go make a garden up there at his place, uh, like I have out front here. So I'm gonna go run and do that tonight, and then uh, we'll be working on this after that glue dries. Uh, but yeah, here's his little place of land. This is where all the goats are right back behind us. And here's what it looks like now with a garden. So now that y'all have seen the gardening things that I've done out there, we can get back to work on this thing. Just cut my hand pretty good, so that's super awesome. <laughs> hmm. This might be really fun. I'm getting blood all over this chair right now. Good job, Mark. Matt posted a video, I'm tired, leave me alone. Just, y'all get back to work. Alright, so this thing is completely sanded down, it is ready for stain, and that is what we're about to do. And upon opening it, it looks a little darker than it's advertising on the outside. I don't know, we'll see what it looks like. Should be cool. Alright, Jesse did tell me to put my HE logo on it somewhere, so I've been messaging back and forth with uh, Masto. I asked him to make me some a new, a new insignia, and he sent that one that I really liked a lot, and this is the one that we, he did like 90% of the work here, and I threw away some of his work and said, what about this? And he said, yeah, I like it, so we made that together. And uh, yeah, I think that that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to draw this under there with a Sharpie and then we'll clear coat over that. See, Master just sent me this. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, so this is the last project that was ever done in the old homemade everything shop. Um, sad, but we're leaving here so that we can go to something better. And I think it's going to be good in every single way. Uh, we're leaving our little piece of paradise here, but the only thing we don't have here is family, and that's all that matters. So we're going to what matters, and uh, we'll build from there. So we'll see y'all when we're moved. Bye! We are going to miss that when we move.